Say, you fellas know if Jerome serves dessert here? I got a real hankering for pudding. That's so weird. I was just thinking about pudding on the way over here. Okay, well, you two are clearly in love. But I could also go for some pudding. Why we all got pudding on the brain? It's gotta be that new billboard advertising pudding on the highway. We all drove past it on the way here. Huh. Well, that's no surprise. Everyone in my house can get very excited by a good ad campaign. Oh, yeah, I seen that pudding billboard. It's the one that says CBS Outdoor Advertising on it. Yeah, yeah, but right above that is like a big guy eating pudding. I don't remember none of that. I just remember CBS Outdoor Advertising on the bottom and three pigeons sitting on top. You're bad at looking at billboards. Hey, we should go check it out right now. Ordinarily, I'd say no, but that adult kickball league is coming in for drinks, so let's get out of here. That's real pudding in there. What? No, it isn't. They wouldn't put real pudding on a billboard, Peter. Do you have any idea how crippled you sound right now? Peter, it's not real pudding. God, sometimes I just want to shake some sense into you. Yeah, big talk for a guy who looks like a dad at a Dave Matthews concert. Everybody hates how you dress. Right, Joe? Sorry, I stay out of fashion debates. I've been burned one too many times. Look, there's only one way to settle this. I am climbing that billboard to prove it's real pudding. Moisturizer? Sure. Okay. We getting on into the chappy season. Yeah! Peter, are you okay? All right, there's no pudding, but there is a kid up here. Don't hold him like that. Oh my God, Peter, that's the lost Nicholson kid. He's been missing for a week. Oh yeah. They arrested a custodian because of you. Peter, stay put. I'll call this in and we'll get a crew out here to help you both down. Mikey, you're safe. Thank you so much for finding my boy. Thank you for finding her boy. I'm the stepfather. Peter Griffin, in recognition of your heroism in helping to rescue little Mikey Nicholson, I'd like to present you with this key to the city. Thank you, Mayor West. You know, some of you out there are calling me a hero. Others are calling me a hoagie. Those of you from Connecticut are calling me a grinder. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm not just pieces of meat between pieces of bread. I am a man who unintentionally saves kids. Wow. 20 years on the force, and no one's ever clapped for me. Fact is, when I saved that boy, I wasn't thinking. I don't think. I just do. I wanted to see if a billboard had real pudding in it, so I climbed up there and came out a hero. It's just like Gandhi always said. Eat as much as you want and do whatever, and don't be afraid to hit each other. Peter, that thing you said about not thinking and just doing stuff, did you mean that? Sure I did, Joe. I never stopped to think. That's why I've had ringworm 11 times. I will roll in anything. You know what? You're right. And it's time I do the same thing. Okay, you just called me Ray again. I just want to confirm that you understand that this is Joe. No, not see you tomorrow. Joe, what are you doing? You can't quit your job. Well, that's the other thing, Bonnie. You and I are done, too. What? I'm leaving you. Whoa! New Joe! Oh, God. What? What? You know what? I think it looks good. You are, you are just trying anything, aren't you? Just searching for an identity, man. And you think this is gonna be it, huh? Oh, God, whatever. Peter, I'm worried about Joe. You know, not only did he quit his job, he's moved out and gotten his own apartment. Oh, I feel terrible for Bonnie and the kids. Oh, they'll be fine. He'll bounce back, just like Humpty Dumpty did after his fall. Oh, wait, wait, Quagmire, hold up. I got a great knock. Oh, hey, guys, how's it going? Hey, buddy, how you doing? You okay? Everything okay? I'm talking like this because I'm being very careful not to upset you, and for some reason, this is the voice people use to do that. Oh, I'm great. Come on in, check out the new pad. Got it. That's the new joke. And check this out. It's the gun that no leg sprinter used to kill his girlfriend. Oh, my God! Eh, anyone who's kind of fast gets a free pass from me. What kind of person would want to buy that? I'll tell you who. The kind of guy who's always got butterscotch candies for his friends. Okay, now that's pretty cool. I've never been better. I was living my life all wrong, but not anymore. No more thinking, just living. Well, it seems like you made the right choice, Joe. I mean, I ain't seen anyone this happy since the invention of the penny-farthing bicycle. 
Eureka! Watch it go! Higher than you! Faster than you! Better than you! Oh no! Keep rakes away! I expressly said no rakes allowed on the street when I am riding my futuristic machine! Uh, oh! Uh, Children! Uh, this is progress! What's up, ladies? Oh, we're not ladies, you. Hey, what's with the suitcase? I got a surprise. What would you guys think of a road trip? Oh, yeah. right, I'm in. Awesome road trip. I love being super pumped for 15 minutes and then bored out of my mind for eight hours. Where we going? Well, I was thinking Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls? Ain't that just for lovers? Nah, it's for everybody. It's great to just stand there and let Mother Nature spray it all over your face. Oh, sweet cows. Let's tip them over. What? You want to tip over some cows? Hell yeah. This is going to be so boss. I can't wait. <laughs> this is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. All right, cow. This is what you get for standing. That was awesome. I want to kiss that cow, but I don't want it to be my idea. Okay, they're sleeping. We're going to have to party in the bathroom. Be careful around the really fat one. He's kind of like my boss. What? Who's there? Joe, what the hell are you doing? I went to a high school kegger party. Made a few new friends. This is Chrysalis, Ichabod, and Cancer. Oh, I see three young men who could use the tickle monster. Uh, that's a bad read. God, what the hell has gotten into Joe? I don't know, Quagmire. Maybe you could ask the tickle monster. <laughs> uh, here he goes. He's away. gonna get you. <laughs> uh, <work> <laughs> Great. Now I'm fully up. Here we are, guys. Niagara Falls. We showed them. We showed them all. Showed who? What the hell's he talking about? I don't know. I stopped listening to him back at the drive-thru when he leaned out the window and ordered a fur burger. That's not funny. That's just nasty. Plus, there's people waiting behind you. You made it, Lois. You made it. Did I tell you guys it's the most magnificent place in the world and the greatest place to end it all? Goodbye, fellas. <laughs> Oh my god, Joe killed himself! It's so weird that he argued over the price of breakfast this morning. <laughs> it makes no sense! Damn it! Joe? Well, hang in there, Joe. We'll get some help. No! Just let me die! Oh no, can't do that, Joe. We're friends. We look out for each other. I mean, you supported me that day I accidentally wore Lois's jeans. Don't worry, Joe. They're coming for you. Yay! My backpack! Hang in there, Joe. After they get that lady's hat, you're next. Thank you. It's windy up here. Joe, what the hell is wrong with you? Why would you try to kill yourself? Why do you think? I'm worthless. But y you've been so happy these last few days. I'm a cop who can't save anyone. I'm a husband in a legless marriage. My whole life is a joke. But somehow, as soon as I decided to kill myself, I actually felt free. Almost giddy. I can finally kiss this worthless life goodbye. Let me get this straight. The whole point of bringing us to Niagara Falls was just to kill yourself? Well, I'm sorry I tricked you guys into coming. I just wanted to spend my last week with my best pals. Well, he's got a good chin. I don't know about handsome. Yeah, he's not handsome, but I will say this. He keeps a good lawn. Yeah, some might say the second best lawn in the neighborhood. Hey, w where's Joe? Joe, wait! Anywhere is fine. Guys, this is unnecessary. Give me my chair back. No, we can't trust you not to kill yourself. Yeah, then you'd be the tenth friend who's killed himself in front of me. Is that true? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, those two girls, and... Yeah, yeah, ten. Look, you guys, what we really need to do is bring him back to Quahog where we can get him some help. It is only a ten-minute ride, you know. Okay, we'll do the Whirlpool Aero Car and then take Joe back to Quahog. What about the Whitewater Walk? Okay, okay, Whirlpool Aero Car, then Whitewater Walk, then we bring Joe back. Well, you can't do Niagara Falls without riding the Maid of the Mist. Yeah, let's do everything. Great! Well, this has just been one heck of a fun day. Yeah, yeah, you know, seeing the natural beauty of this place is actually making me feel much better. Hey, you mind opening that door? Get a little breeze in here? Sure. Uh, Peter, no! Oh, uh, crap! I'm losing my grip! Hang on, guys! Don't worry, I'm coming! What's 
that thing he's on? It's a chair with wheels! He's an absolute dream! <laughs> Keep swallowing water. We'll drink our way out of this. Guys, grab onto my legs! <laughs> Got it. Ew. God, Joe! I thought I was dead! I even pictured my own funeral! Grandma got run over by a reindeer You know, I spent the whole time trying to kill myself, but it took seeing you guys almost die to realize that life really is worth living! See, Joe? You're a hero, too! And we wouldn't trade you for any friend in the world! Thanks, Peter. I'm lucky to have you guys in my life. We're four friends having an adventure. Four, four friends having an adventure. Four friends. Now what the hell? Adventure. Four friends having an adventure at Niagara Falls. What's your wow, nice. Oh my yeah. God. All right. Wow, that was awesome. Yeah, definitely. All right, okay. Don't anyone sing anything else until we get home. We got to record this. Yeah, that'll be great. Well, that was kind of a weird trip, but I'm glad we went. Yeah, I love Niagara Falls. I was the only black man ever to go there. The tourists were taking pictures of me. One of them thought I was a bear. Hey, guys. Wow, Joe, you got your job back? Sure did. How'd you pull that off? Uh, they always need more cops. And what about Bonnie? How you getting her back? Well, I got a plan for that. I hired some guys to come to the house on Tuesday and assault her. And I'll come in and save her. And she'll be so grateful she'll have to take me back. Joe, today's Tuesday. Well, poop. <laughs>